Hello everyone. Today's devotional is going to be on the rest of God. Now, when we talk about the rest of God, most of us, we may have an idea of what that might be, but I want to share with you the revelation that God has given me about rest and how important it is for the believer to be in rest, to have rest in their lives. Now, when you say rest, you may automatically think that rest means to stop, slow down, sleep, to stop working. And yes, all those things do mean to rest. But I want to go a little bit deeper than that. What does it mean to be in rest, to rest in God? Well, the basic meaning of that is having faith in God, having faith trust in God, knowing that God is working everything for our good, knowing that God is working on our behalf and putting all of our confidence in him that whatever he promised you is, has, will, shall (laughs) come to pass. And it's very, very important that we are confident in that because the more confident we are in God, the more rest we will walk in. To not be in rest is to be in fear and anxiety and unsurety. That's not rest. And as believers, our whole aim is to have faith, to have the God kind of faith, to have rest, to have assurance knowing that God is working on our behalf. To rest also means to be obedient, to be where God tells you to be, when he tells you to be, how he tells you to be, do everything God tells you to be. That is how we first enter into the rest of God is through obedience. When you're walking outside of obedience, you're not going to have rest. You're going to be stressed. You're going to have turmoil. You're going to be toiling. You're going to have anxiety. You're going to have fear because disobedience open yourself up to calamity. It allows Satan to to trample all over your stuff when you're walking outside of the will of God, when you're walking in direct disobedience. It's one thing to be ignorant. You know, sometimes we're ignorant. We don't always know what we're doing. You know, we're trying to do right, but we don't always know exactly. But, you know, God has grace for that. God has grace for ignorance, especially when you are seeking what is right. But some of us choose to be disobedient. Some of us choose to to not follow instructions. You know, we we question everything God tells us to do. And sometimes God will talk to us directly from the word. He'll talk to us through a a man or woman of God, our pastors, our leaders. He'll talk to us through those, those veins. And when we hear the voice of God, we choose not to adhere. We harden our hearts towards the voice of God. And when you do that, You open yourself up for the enemy to come in and trample all over your stuff, cause calamity, and now you're trying to figure out what's happening. It's because you're disobedient, okay? So just know that if you want to enter into rest, you must first obey. I want to share a definition that the Lord gave me when I was seeking him about what is rest and and how do I enter into rest? You know, I really want to know what is God's definition of rest. So I'm going to read it for you. To rest is to stay in a position of faith, to be unmovable, to stay where God has positioned you so his grace can support you. I'm going to read that one more time. To stay in a position of faith, to be unmovable, to stay where God has positioned you so his grace can support you. Man, that just really spoke volumes to me. It's important that we stay in a position of faith. That is what rest is, is staying in a position position of faith to be unmovable, to stay where God has positioned you. Don't move out of position. If God tells you to go to this church, stay in that church. Stay there until he says something else different. Stay there. Plant, root, grow, because that is your safety place. If he tells you to move to this city, 
Go where he tells you to go because that's where his grace is. That's where the blessing is. That's where he's going to speak to you. Go there. If he tells you to take this job and not that one, do exactly what he says. Don't question, Lord, why, why, why? I don't want to. That, that's going to be too hard. Just do it without fail. Just do what he tells you to do. He's trying to position you so that he can support you. Okay? You don't want to be outside of the will of God for your life. Be in a position where God's grace can support you. The example that came to me is the account of Elijah. You can find this account in 1 Kings chapter 17. And Elijah was a prophet of God. He was a man of God. And he followed God's voice. He did what God told him to do. And in the land that he was in, there was a famine coming. And God prepared him for it. He told him, go by a brook. I'm going to sustain you there. I'm going to have ravens bring you bread so you will have food to eat. And the, and the brook will provide water for you. So Elijah had sustenance there. God took care of him. Why? Because he was where God told him to be. So the grace was there for God to sustain him. And you don't hear anything about Elijah complaining and having unrest and, and, and being anxiety about it and questioning God. God, why you got me by this, by this uh, brook? Why you, why you sending ravens and not doves? Um, complain. I don't, you know, I, you don't hear none of that. He's there for as long as God tells him to be there. And then it comes a moment where God tells him to move. Cause now this God is re, God is repositioning him for another blessing to be a blessing to someone. And if you read the account, it's, it's such an amazing account. You need to read it, but it shows how important it is to hear the voice of God adhere to it, listen and follow, be obedient because God sustained Elijah through that famine and not only him, but he also used him to bless uh, the, the, a widow woman that was, was about to die. She was about to make her last meal for her and her son and it was going to be it. But God looked out for her and said, no, absolutely not. But if Elijah was not position where he was supposed to be and if he was not used to being obedient to God's word he would have not been sustained the grace would not have been there for him to be sustained and that would a woman would have never encountered the blessing of God if he was disobedient and he was not trusting and resting in God go read the account it's a good one but I want to leave you with this thought that is important that if you want to experience the blessing of God in your life, if you, if you really want to know what it means to rest in God, start with your obedience. Be very sure that you follow God. Don't question every little thing. Just do what he asks you to do. Okay, because he has a plan. And he knows exactly what he's doing. And when you're in the position that God has placed you, the grace for him to sustain you will be there. You will not suffer lack. You will not suffer peace. You will not suffer any good thing when you are in the rest of God. I hope this devotional was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to talking to you again really soon.